Hey y'all, Jesse Dusty here, welcome back to some more Hotshot Scope 3. Today we're going to be going into motion mode, so let's get on with that. Here we are, Western Valley in the summer. Okay, hopefully this time I can actually win, although that ball looks like it could go in the bunker. Okay, no, good job. Whew. It's really not good to go into the bunker when you're using a powerful character. Cause even though you could get the distance, you're probably not gonna go that far even if you try to up the club to that has a distance that you're trying to hit at. So it's really pretty hard to beat Tony because he seemed to do so well. In proximity to the hole. He seemed to get close to the hole in a lot of cases and I just can't seem to get good luck on many of these holes. An excellent vector. I think I do well on shot. That is a reason why I'm failing the match left and right because of crap that that happened, stuff like that. I really don't get why I had such a terrible time with this. Well, it's not it's not that I'm having a terrible time playing this, it's just having a hard time a beating birdie. the opponent. Because they seem to do well almost every time. And if I... I suggest you let me win. And if I screw up on a hole, I'm just losing that hole no matter what. So it it ends up adding more losses in the end that I can't come back from because of stuff like that. And Tony that just an seems vector. to play the hole just like that every time. And he gets booties almost every time too. I really don't know why this is happening to me. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I really don't like that. And it seems like no matter what I'm trying to do, I try to undersuit, it still goes past the hole. I just don't get it. Get in the ball. Okay. Nice birdie. We're going deep. That's a conceivable birdie. And they rarely miss too, so they always tie you. One above the race. When done here. Uh, I really don't get why I can't really successfully beat the opponents on the first try. I'll beat them on the first vector. try in some cases, but with these more difficult opponents, you really have to have good luck. But yeah, let me know who some of your opponents are, were in this game that you've had a hard time beating. Who was the was number one person that you couldn't beat? in how many attempts that you tried to do it. So far, Estelle and Tony have been my toughest opponents. And I say that because I've been doing like more than five to 10 attempts at trying to beat them. Whereas with Spike and Lin, I only beat them on the second attempt. So it does get harder as you go through, but it doesn't help when they play like gods on the holes when you mess up. We have a right to left slice, and the wind is going left, so we need to move it a little bit over. Back spin. That was an excellent vector. Okay. It doesn't really curve that much, though. But that was a pretty good shot. I'll take that. As long as this guy doesn't hit the ball in the hole, 
Your ball's in proximity to the hole. That's a potential eagle. Cause he did do that at one point. He did. That was amazing. We're going real big. I did land on the green to get a booty, but Tony wasn't even on the green yet. But he did a tripping that he used super backspin and then it just went right in the hole. So yeah, I really don't get why some of these idiots play like gods when you're trying to beat them in one or two attempts. That was an excellent vector. I do some good shots, he does good shots, he basically copies a lot of what you do. So, it does get... Wow. I'm behind those trees, that's not a good sign. He messed up there, but... Unless he's really out of bounds or really in a bad spot, he's still gonna beat me on the hole. But I have a chance to, was an excellent vector. to beat him here. The only thing is, I can't do much of the way in side spins. I can't do side spins as well with John here because his spin stat is so low. So there's, so even if I try to do back spin or diagonally down to the bottom right, if I try to do that, it's still not going to go as high as I want it to, or around. I can't go left to right because it's still going to go way over here. My only hope is to make it through the gap between these two trees right here. And, oh! Your ball's in proximity to the hole. Well, that surprised me. I didn't think he was gonna have a high trajectory, but I didn't need to worry about that then. Okay. So that does help. An excellent approach. That's a conceivable birdie. Alrighty. Get your butt butt in there. Nice birdie. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Note to self. John has a high trajectory. It does help. Very, very nice. Oh, oh, oh. That was an excellent <clears throat> vector. Woo. Although the high trajectory doesn't always work because when you're in a bunker, you generally have a lower trajectory even if the character has a high trajectory shot. So, it depends on some terrain that you're on, whether it's in the bunker or the rough or bare ground. It can affect how the ball is shot. Like with this fly right here, the, where the ball is right now, it can still go up high. The only thing that matters now is that the distance. An and apparently the wind pushed it over when I didn't want to. But that's gonna be a little straight to the hole, so I think I'm good. But yeah, Tony is messing up more than he did in however many attempts. That's so a this is welcoming, birdie. at least. All right, we get the ball in. Okay, let's go right there. That should be good. Oh wow! Nice birdie. Any harder though? Hey, you're a good people. Any harder would have gone around the hole, wouldn't have gone in. So when you when you are on the green and you have the chance to beat them. Take your time with the putting. It's not a rush. It is important to try and slow down your game. If you rush too much, you're not going to win. It also helps if knowing where your ball is going to go. 
Although, if you go in the bunker, that's not a good thing either. Although, I think I'm good on this part, yeah. As long as you're on the fairway with a lot of these powerhouse characters, you will generally have a better time. And I don't recommend using bigger clubs and bigger balls or whatever other club and ball that would decrease the control and impact stat. Those two are the most important stats you need for using powerhouse characters. I need to do this. Ugh. Come on, get... Oh, well, I'll, I'll take that. Your ball's in proximity to the hole. I didn't like where the ball went on there, but at least it's on the green. And he's going over there. So I have another putt. As long as he doesn't get par, if he gets bogey, then I have two putts to work with here. And I can still win. So you, you really just have to hope that your opponent messes up a lot. And believe it or not, this That's is the most burn. times on the front nine that he's messed up. Although now he is going to be able to get a pause, get pause. So I have to get this in if I want to win this hole. But it doesn't really look like it's going to let me get it in that easily. Okay, there we go. Nice We're going deep. Hey, he's up, pal. Taking your time to really line it up, it does pay off. Cause I could have gone with the tie there, but the game was kind enough to let me get that in. So the slope is going to the right, but if you don't get perfect impact, the ball is likely going to bounce on the fringe and take you away from the hole. So you kind of want to move to the left a bit more and go from there. And right there is exactly my point. Oh wow, it, it went past the fringe, so it, thankfully, thankfully it didn't bounce far off. It stayed straight for the most part. But yeah, that's what you generally want to happen. If you hit the fringe there, that's on an angle, you're not really going to like where it goes after that. I don't like this though, because now Tony is going to try and do good here. Nice birdie. That's a conceivable birdie. Okay. Nice birdie. You're gonna start missing. Alright, so here's a part of five. I can generally do this, but every time that Tony and I have been on this course, Tony has done exceedingly well in getting an eagle on this hole, so I have to really do my best here to at least tie him. Alright, 300 yards, not too bad. And yes, he's going over there, which is a good thing. Because that does mean that it's going to be a longer shot to the hole on the second shot. Yes. So he's not going to make it over there. So he's going to go over there where I am. So he, yeah, he's actually making it easy for me to win on this hole. But I have to get this on the second shot, get it on the green. Although, he just messed that up. So now I have two chances to do this. Unless he magically gets that chipping. So, let's do this. That's probably not going to make it. I should have hit harder. But at least it's not stuck in the sand. I, at least I can actually get it out. 
relatively easily. Oh, Although, yep, Pony just screwed up again. So, yep, I win this hole, no problem. I can take a couple shots here. I'll be fine. So, yeah, it really comes down to... Wow. He really tried to be a show-off with that call. But, yeah. Uh... Okay, let's go over here. Let's do this. And there we go. Wow. Could have had an eagle, but nope, I'll take this. Alright, there we go. Eat the heck out of that. So, several attempts yesterday and one or two today. It goes to show you that you just have to get lucky for them to mess up enough for you to actually win and not go on, go up to the 18th hole. So, oh well. Um, I think I used the same caddy twice though. I'm not sure. I think in the tournament we used Hubert, but I that wasn't on my mind. I think we were supposed to use Bertha, but I'll use her next time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you next time for when we go to another tournament round. Later.